Hi, in this video we'll be looking for Excel basics, the Excel screen itself. These are, that's the Excel screen when you open it for the first time, a blank workbook. This is the place, if I open a blank workbook, it looks like that. Now in this blank workbook, if you see, there are various things available on the screen. Let me try to explain you what are those things. At the very top, if you see, that's a, a quick access toolbar, the only toolbar available in Microsoft Excel in the newer version, 2010, 7 and 13, 16, all these versions. So that's the only toolbar. Whereas in the previous version, 2003 onwards, uh, earlier itself, they had many toolbars available. On the below of that quick access toolbar, QAT, you have something as tabs, insert, page layout, formulas, data. These are known as tabs. Earlier, these tabs were known as menu bars. So menu bars used to have all the options available, but these are the tabs available. Inside every tab, there are, di there are different options available. If you see, these options are nothing but available in the place known as ribbon. So if I double click on this place, on the tab, the ribbon gets hidden. If I double click on that tab, the ribbon comes back. Another option, if you see on the right hand side, there's a small button. If I click on this, it gets hidden away. If you want to bring it back, you have to just double click on it. So every tab has its own dip different ribbon, which are different options available. If you come down a bit little, this is nothing but a name box. Name box gives you the location of the cell where your cursor is now. So my cursor is in the cell number C3. So it gives you the location. So this place, and also it can be used for name ranges, which you'll be seeing in the uh, next uh, video itself. Next is, I have this uh, box, it is known as the formula bar, where when you write a formula in the cell, you get the answers. But if you want to see exactly what the formula is written here, so you can see the entire formula written here. So if you want to expand the formula, you can just formula bar, you can open this. If you want to minimize, you can click on this formula bar. So this is a formula bar, it is known as a name box. Other things, if you see, these are A, B, C, D, E, F, G. These are the column headings. These are all the column headings. If you click on any one column heading, the entire column gets selected. If you click on any one column heading, column gets selected. On the left hand side, if you see, these are the rows, one, two, three, four, five. So if you click on any one row heading, if you click on three, the entire row gets selected. Similarly, if you click on 10, the entire row gets selected here. Next, if you come down at the bottom here, if you see these are the number of sheets which are available, sheet 2, sheet 3 and all. These are different sheets which are available. And if you click on this plus sign, it keeps on incrementing the sheets. But now if you want to see the names of all the sheets at one place, I'll just close it first. Don't save. Yeah. If you want to see the names of all the sheets at one place, how you can see that? If you see there's a small right, right arrow key at the bottom, I'll just right click on that. Once you right click on that, you'll get a dialog box. That dialog box says the names of all the sheets in your workbook. These are all the names of the worksheet. So Excel basics, so you see the Excel basics. Copying and filling, copying and filling. Feb, March, April, you see there's somewhere Feb, March, April. So these are names of the sheets which are present in your workbook. If you want to jump to any worksheet, so you have to just double click on that. Let's see if I want to go to third sheet. I'll just double click on that, double click you went to that particular sheet. If you want to come back, you just click on that. How do you open the dialog boxes? You have to right click on this place and you'll get the dialog box and get all the list. So, so these are the worksheets for navigating. You have a button here. Let's come on the right hand side at the bottom. If you see there's a scroll bar, the screen zoom scroll bar. So if you click on plus sign, you see the size of the cells get increases. If you click on the minus sign, size of the cell reduces here, right? But make sure the, you know, the, the tabs and the menu bars, they don't, you know, minimize or maximize. It remains the same, constant, right? On the top of that uh, zoom bar, if you see, there's a scroll bar. There are two scroll bars by default given in Microsoft Excel. It's a vertical scroll bar and horizontal scroll bar. So if you keep on clicking on that scroll bar, the screen goes uh, horizontally forward. Similarly, if you want to bring it backward, you have to click on this, you know, scroll bar here itself. If you want the screen to go down, right, you have to click on this vertical scroll bar. Similarly, if you want to take it back, you can use it using using the mouse itself. Next is, if you come on the top, these are the buttons which are used for close, minimize, maximize, all these options. There's also, uh, the, the three buttons are present over here. Next is, if you want to come to this place, this is the name of the file. The name of the file is video one Excel. So if you, the name keeps on changing, the file also changes here, and the name changes here. So that's the screen about the Excel. And the last one, which is given here, if I click on this file button, if I click on this file button, these are different options available. In some Microsoft Excel version, you don't have this file button. You have something as office button. So once you click on this office button, you get the same options, which is a new open, save, save as, and all the other options available. So I'll come back to that, please. Right. 
So I hope you have understood all the topics here. Next is if you want to enter some data in the worksheet, how do you enter it? You just keep your cursor in any cell and you just start typing here. Let's say anything like this. If you want to type here anything, you just type here. You, you just keep your cursor and start typing from a keyboard itself. So this way you can edit. Suppose you want to edit the same cell, you have to use the shortcut key as F2 from a keyboard. F2 will bring your cursor in the editing mode and the cursor will blink. Otherwise, if you, if you forget the shortcut, you can just use your mouse and you can just double click over here and it starts in the editing mode. The other thing is this entire is a workbook. Now what exactly is a workbook? Workbook is a collection of the worksheets, different worksheets. This are all the worksheets. If I combine all the worksheet at one place that becomes a workbook itself. So this video one is a workbook or you can name it as a file which contains all the different sheets itself. Next is if I want to select some ranges, these are different ranges. If I want to select this cells, these are nothing but ranges. If I click on some cursor, that is nothing but a cell. If I select more than one cell, that becomes a range again itself. Next and the last one I have, if I want to save a workbook, I can save it with different extensions. I'll go to the file and I'll save as because already I've saved the file. Save as, it will ask the location where do you want to save. I'll say as I want to save on the desktop. desktop. You'll get this kind of dialog box and the location will be given as and the second is the name of the file you can change the name of the file by just typing it as video2 i'll remove that and it will ask you the extension of the file how do you want to save it there are various extensions given for excel the previous version it was xls and the newer version is xlsx if you want to convert into pdf you see there's a pdf option and if you want to convert into a macro enabled workbook dot xlsm so various you know different types of formats are available which can be used right now i'll not go for anyone i'll just select this excel workbook and it is already saved so i don't have to save it and finally you can just click on save itself and do it so these are all the options available so i hope i have not missed anything over over here so that's it so i hope you have understood all the topics in this that's all for this video